Welcome back, everybody. It's Dead Scythe. Today, I'm doing with something a little different. Uh, kind of an under-the-hood uh, type thing, like other YouTubers I see do. This place is where I land. This is like a path I take. I usually start here, because it's got a good mix of everything. And then there's a whole pile of areas that I can branch off into for possibilities when you're trying to do solo versus squads. This is usually the skin I choose for obvious reasons. It fits the Gorilla Tactics brand and it fits the whole camouflage and staying out of sight. Because you're going against like two people, one people, four people, whatever you're doing. Um, this is me doing 1v2 in uh, the zero build ranked. Um, so what I like to do is I like to carry around a few of those fish initially just in case someone's coming up on me. Um, there's an instance of that later in the video. So, this is pretty much my route. Coming around here, fishing out stuff. It kind of ends here, and then I go back. And just check to see if any there's any, like, fighting over there that I could third party. Um, so as I make my way over here, I usually hit this cottage. And depending on how much action I hear over, um, in the field next to me. That's how fast I, like, clear out stuff. Normally, I find a lot of good stuff here. I'll take a DMR for sight, but I don't really need it now. So. Let's see what we find over here. So that's a good gun to start off with. Five bursts is usually really good before the bloom really starts taking off with that gun. So that's what I'd recommend just working with. Now, like I said, I heard something over here, so I'm going to go check it out to see if I can get a... Uh, Get in on the third party or get a kill or sneak in on somebody. And what I'm working on in this video is also showing you how to get away. Everyone talks about how to get in on somebody or, or how to aim or how to do this. I'm going to show you guys how to get out, get away with style. Now you got two bananas coming up on you. That This gun doesn't seem like it's doing it because they're going to both be doubling down on you. And... I thought if he got closer, maybe, but I'm down to, like, no life. And I'm sitting here, like, trying to dodge bullets. And they know where I am. So, basically, what I do is, this place is really good for another reason. It has a lot of get uh, getaway opportunities. Like this up gust. I usually dive into it. And I'll take get taken over to somewhere safe. Hopefully, I land somewhere where I'm not getting, like... Peppered with fire. And I'll have a chance to sit down and med. Knowing the area is probably one of the best things that can help you when it comes to trying to get away from people or stay, you know, camouflaged or when to attack and how to attack. This video series is going to be part of my repertoire where I help you guys see that. I don't have fancy graphics yet. We're working on it. So you have a guy coming in on me and this is one of the banana heads. And then I... I'm sitting here and I have to do some... He thinks I'm in the truck, so I get back in the truck, but it's stuck on a rock. He's trying to shoot at me again, but he gets pressured. So I just run along the truck, because I'm pretty camo. And I get away free again with next to no life in the truck. <laughs> Even got a cool soundtrack. So I come over here, and I'm trying to find something somewhere I can stop to met again. And there's going to be people running to that fire, so... Like that. For some reason, this guy didn't open up. I mean, when he could have, but I could have just used the mud to get up the hill. Letting him know I appreciate him not killing me. So then I just make it to the next point. I usually like to know where all the cars are or where all the med is. So I can, like all the med kit type stuff. So I can make sure I have a place to go to. Um... I always usually have, like, the... If I'm pl doing it this way, I usually have the invisibility gloves or, um... Shock... The shockwave balls, and... I'll usually have a utility. I usually go, like, two guns for this. And I clear this room out in case somebody just tries trapping me in here, firing at me, and has the angle of the doors to... 
get a clear shot at me. Now here I recognize I'm down a slot, so I'm just going to fill it with the shotgun in case I get into a close encounter. Um, just waiting here to get a feel for the land, see if anyone's firing. Get a location on something. If you have any other, like, things you like to do, I'd like to hear about them down in the comments. So I'm feeling out this field, seeing if anybody's moving around. I usually give it a few minutes because people usually are rotating and I try to catch them in between. So what else I'm doing here is tapping this truck with this truck so I can have it explode and have people either be distracted when they're trying to go at each other or whatever so I can travel in between rotations. It may not work 100% of the time, but... It does work, and sometimes you're rewarded for being smart. And people are, you know, rising behind me and everything, and they're gonna- I know those people over there are gonna be coming up on the castle over here. So I'm trying to take a wide berth to see if I can get any action. And the gun I have is not a zoom-in. Unfortunately, I didn't get an MK this time. So I hear multiple interactions, and I'm trying to get up in here and see where we can move in. There's two vehicles. I always watch for exit strategies. Always. Like camouflage, give you time to reload or med. Will they see me? Will they see me when my shields go back up to top? You got to think of that. So I know there's guys, like, right ahead of me, and I just don't know where. So I'm going to wait till they have an interaction with the people that just rezzed over across the street. And then I'm going to try to, like, push them into them by shooting the bullets there. You got people to my left, you got people to my right, and people behind them. So I'm waiting for the sandwich to, uh, happen. So, since they're distracted and I know there are people coming up the hill, and I know people are coming from the left, I'm going to start blending into the chaos, I like to call it. So hopefully I'm going to hit somebody like this. I didn't kill him, but you get the idea. So then I come around again. Now, I know there's a bunch of vehicles to my right. These people aren't going to be wanting to waste bullets on a truck because they have an incursion coming. So I'm just using it. I'm timing it where if someone starts barreling down on me, I have a clear path to take off. Now, I missed that guy like four times. <laughs> Pissed me off. But uh, very soon they're going to be done shooting at whoever they're shooting at. So I'm just trying to make sure I have a way out. Now they're there, and they don't even see me. That's what I mean, like, the truck is out like a mobile command center. Now they're up on me, they're trying to get in the truck, they're driving away, I know there's a truck next to me, so I'm just gonna jump out, jump in, and just, again, another smooth getaway. Shoot me all you want. By the time they explode me, they'll just send me forward. So then, I jump out, Survey the land, see if there's they're coming down on that car so I could pepper it and blow it up. And they could get hit by the people behind them. Or I could use move the truck up and shoot as I'm moving the truck. But I see them going into the house there. And there's no one attacking them, so... I'm just seeing what's going to move next. So, I decide not to risk it, and I just take the lower road. Try to get a few things going through here. Fumble, of course. And then they're coming up the thing there, so... I'm just bopping to distract one of them. Hopefully they interact and one kills the other. Any small thing can work. Using everything in this game to your advantage, even if you're a smaller player that has a horrible aim or you needing to, learning how to navigate and conduct people into each other like just tease the two big people find out who's got the kills you see on the on the feed if you see a bunch of names a lot like three or four times go after them try to see if they're in your in their local to you and if they are you see the guys that are like up on a top or something throw something at them like these guys I have the I have the high ground here. 
as Obi-Wan would say. That's when I eat those fish, so I have a clear view. And I also do it here because it's easier to see if someone's sneaking up on me. Like that. Like that guy there was trying to sneak up on me. They blend into the snow. You can't see him. That's why I carried that fish from the beginning of the game. And then I'm back on the forest floor again, which is a total murder zone. But you just got to keep yourself out of sight and you got to keep yourself like able to move ahead or behind them. Predict their path. Like, I know these guys to my left are coming based on how the storm's moving and where their position was the last time I saw them. So now that there's two of them, I'm going to grab the explosive repeater and I'm going to try to weaken them against the other people because they're smart players. So the more of an advantage they have in numbers, the better it is to get move them off the board so you can pick on the lower fish again. Right on time. So what I'll do is I'll either use the gun to push them forward or they'll just go there themselves. I have that cache on the ground so I could probably get a slurp out of that. So that is good. I don't want to like turn on them now in case they're not distracted. But that guy just I'm firing a little bit on just to get them moving like they have someone behind them. Checking it out, seeing what I can do. Waiting for them to hopefully get smeared. <laughs> so I don't hear anything for a couple seconds or it's a little bit distant. So I go down and hit this cache. Now, it's important to utilize staying in a truck or having like the color of the skin that I have. Uh, it's Beast Boy from uh, DC. I don't know if you have it or not. You could transform into this gorilla or go the gorilla tactics. I usually keep myself fully cam, but I mean, a lot of people see they have their settings all the way down or whatever, but a lot don't. There are people who are colorblind. There are people who are have their settings up and foliage is thicker and they don't hear, they don't see it coming. That's always something that has a chance of being better on you. Now, not in competition. Usually it's all the same playing field, but just to keep an edge in normal games or even ranked when you're going against two people if you're playing zero build or normal. Every advantage counts. So I obviously immediately drink one of these. I wish I had that from the beginning. It would have been a lot better. So then I decide, should I go down to two guns here and have more you know, stuff because I'm fighting the end. That's probably the better idea. So then I get in this truck here at my mobile command center or cover, as I like to call it. And, I, you know, I'll meander through here. Now, I know that there is a um, person nearby. So I usually go real slow in here. Like, they'll hear the car, and then they'll come looking. But as I hear them approaching, I'll just turn off. Now, I see that cache there. They're right there. They see it. They may need slurp, so they're going to come by. So I'm thinking these guys do give them a little peppering, push them into combat, reload the gun, and then here we are. We have a new client. Now, I know this person is separate from the other person behind me. So, I know it's coming for the cash. You just peek out. If the works. But that person's over there. It, he ran. And then you do that. And Alakazam, all done. Now, I should have waited for them to open the cash, but I already have enough stuff. Plus, time's a variable. Using trucks and cover. Now, I could have been sitting there in a bush with the skin, and I've done that. It's just there's a person behind me, and I didn't want to risk that. So having a truck just sitting there, usually a truck that's smoking is a lot more of a good thing because it covers the face of the window. So it doesn't see if the guy looks actually looks at the car. It's kind of still hard to see, and you still have the advantage. Now I'm just waiting to see which way the storm's going. To finish out this match and i wanted to let you guys know i really appreciate you coming please like subscribe and comment on the video if you have any questions um 
and I'll see you in the next one. Give it to me like